In this video, we will show you how to perform the smooth pursuit neck torsional test to detect disturbances of eye movement in patients with neck pain and or cervicogenic dizziness. Get our very own assessment ebook and mobile app. Links are in the video description. Hi and welcome back to PhysioTutors. Neck torsion may lead to greater postural deficits in individuals with persistent traumatic neck pain due to abnormal cervical afferent input. The Smooth Pursuit Neck Torsional Test, abbreviated as SPNT, helps to determine the presence of disturbances in eye movement and postural stability. It is thought to test proprioceptive function, particularly for controlling static and dynamic head and neck position. Tjell et al. from the year 1998 found a sensitivity of 90% and a specificity of 91% in a group of traumatic neck pain patients with dizziness compared to a mixed group of patients with vertigo, central nervous system findings, Meniere's disease and healthy subjects. Although it seems to have a high accuracy to diagnose cervicogenic dizziness, it is the only study evaluating this test so far. For this reason, we give it a moderate clinical value in practice. To conduct the SPNT, the patient is in sitting position on a swivel chair. The patient's head is kept in horizontal position and head rotation is introduced to a maximum of 45 degrees by turning the patient's chair. The therapist instructs the patient to trace a slowly moving target with his eyes in right or left horizontal direction while the patient's head is kept steady. This test is done in neutral torso position, torso turned to the right and torso turned to the left side. This test is positive in a clinical setting in case dizziness is reproduced in the torsion position compared to neutral. Be aware that in a laboratory setting, the outcome measure is the velocity of the corrective saccades, which can only be done with special instruments. Often, patients with neck disorders will be unable to keep up with the target and demonstrate quick catch-up eye movements when the neck is in torsion, particularly when the target is crossing the midline. Saccadic eye movements at the extremes of the visual angle and with the change of movement direction are not considered abnormal. Alright, this was our video on the Smooth Pursuit Neck Torsional Test. If you are curious about other tests for cervicogenic dizziness, check out the playlist right next to me. A lot of this information and much more can be found in our future course on the spine on our website study.physiotutors.com. Of course, we'll be happy if you leave a like and follow our channel, subscribe for Physiotutors. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye.